welcome to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vince and I'm Army Veteran. Today we're going to talk about temporary disability rating after surgery or cast. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content for Vet Talk here on YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, or Reddit for more content. And if you're a veteran and love to share your stories or resources for veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resource for veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. Now that we gotten that out the way, let's get into this topic, man. So today, man, again, we are talking about temporary disability rating after surgery or a cast. And I think this is a beneficial disability rating plan that you can get to where you're being temporarily paid at 100%. Yes, temporarily paid at 100%. So now I'm about to share my screen with you for all you listeners out there. And I'm going to go over and read this for all my audience out there who need me to read it. So this right here is called the Temporary Disability Rating After Surgery or CAS. And it says, are you are recovered from surgery or a disability related to your military service that left you unable to move? Hmm? Is that you? You may be able to get temporary 100% disability rating and a disability compensation or benefit if you have this kind of immobiliz immobilizing disability. Find out if you can get this benefit. So the question may you may be asking is, Brother Vince, am I eligible? Well, according to the VA, you may be eligible for this disability benefit if you have had surgery or received other treatments at the VA hospital, approved hospital, or outpatient center for a, dis a disability related to your military service called a service-connected disability. You must meet one of these requirements. If you have surgery, both of these must be true for you. The surgery requires a recovery time of at least one month our report shows that the surgery or treatment was for a service-connected disability and the surgery resulted in severe issues like surgical wounds that have been totally healed, stump of recent amputations, being unable to move due to being put in splint or cast to help with healing, known as therapeutic immo immobilization, being able to being unable to leave your home known as house confinement, being required to use a wheelchair or crutches. If you didn't have service, this must be true. You had one or more joint immobilized by a cast. Who's covered? Veterans. What kind of disability benefits can I get? You can get health care. You can get added compensation payments while you recover in a temporary 100% disabled um, disability rating. How do I get these benefits? You need to file a claim for disability compensation. Find out how to file a claim for disability compensation. Recovery time from either a surgery or immobilization of a joint by a cast without surgery requires a temporary 100% disability rating for a service-connected disability. This temporary 100% rate may continue for one to three months depending on your unique case. You may be able to get an extension for up to three months if your case is severe. Example, a veteran had a knee injury that resulted in a 30% disability rating. As the knee problem got worse, the veteran's doctor recommended surgery to stop more damage from happening. Since the doctor wouldn't know if the surgery was successful until three months after the veteran's first week's stay, well, I mean, one week stay in the hospital, we granted the veteran a temporary 100% disability rating for three months. So this right here is something that I think is pretty beneficial for all of you veterans out there who have gone through surgeries and different things, um, and such as, you know, being um, immobilized. And it's a great benefit out there that I don't believe most veterans know about. I didn't know about it. But now, you know, so as always, this has been another episode with your boy, Brother Vince for Vet Talk. If you have any questions, man, any questions, please feel free to contact me down in the description. You'll see my email. Find me. Get in touch with me. Click on the link. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Do all of these great things, man. Just don't let this great information pass you by. Help me, man. I need y'all help, man. I need y'all help so that I can get more subscribers because I just really want to help y'all. 
And if you have any information that you need something or need to know about, please feel free to leave those comments in the description so that I can look up this information, I can put it on Vet Talk, and I can get it to you, the veteran and family members. So again, this has been another episode with your boy, Brother Vince with Vet Talk. As always, great people, Vet Talk out.